let's get started with the crazy fly assembly. The first thing that we want to do is run a self test on the crazy fly board. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and power it up via USB and we should see the LED associated with motor one light up and the motor four LED will blink green five times quickly. So what I have here is my battery bank. This could be your PC with the USB cable supplied in the kit. I'll go ahead and power this up and, and let's verify the self-test. So everything looks good. If you see that your M4 LED blinks red, then uh, we'll put a link to the support forum below and you can reach out to us and then we'll help you get it sorted out. I'll go ahead and unplug the Crazy Fly board. We'll set this power bank to the side. Then the next thing that we want to do is install our motors into the motor mount. What we'll do is we'll just twist this cable so it's nice and tight. Now don't tug on it too hard or twist too far. That's probably just about the right amount. And what we'll do next is we'll slide the motor into the motor mount. Now, these are the little landing gear or landing legs that sit on the ground. So those are facing down. We want to put the motor from the top and feed the cable through. You can see through this motor mount, we'll push it down until there's a little stop right here. So now we have one of the motors installed in the motor mount and we'll do the same process for the other three. That is the final motor with the cable twisted and installed in the motor mount. Let's move on to installing these motor mounts onto the Crazy Fly frame. And you'll notice that BitCraze actually uses some visual indicators to show us the front of the frame, as well as a symbol for the bottom. So this is the top. And what I'll do first is go ahead and slide the motor mount onto the frame arm. So I'll just slide this through. You may need to use a little force, but don't push too hard. And you'll notice that in some cases you might need to just push up a little bit on the motor mount and it will begin to click through. We'll do it all the way through to where the arm touches the stop on the motor mount. And now we have one of the motor mounts installed all the way onto the arm. I'll go ahead and repeat the process for the other three, just so you can see up close. That second one is now installed. We have the third. Make sure that you're just using a downward force or a force directly into the center of the frame. You don't want to bend down or up on that arm as you could potentially snap the arm off of Crazy Fly. So we'll go ahead and just go around to all four arms to make sure they're secure. And you'll notice on the other end, the motor mount should be all the way to where the motor connector is on the frame. With the motors installed onto the frame using the motor mount, we now want to wire them up. And that's done with this little connector. So each connector will go into each one of these ports. You'll notice if you can see that we want the holes for the pins facing down towards the frames. And you should be able to see that. I'll slide it in a little bit at an angle. And then what we can do is just use our fingers to sort of push that in. Once again, don't be too rough with this. You don't want to uh, bend this motor connector or potentially dislodge it from the frame. Now you'll see my cables sticking up. If you notice on these motor mounts, there's these opposing little teeth. I can push those down and feed them underneath these teeth so that those motor cables stay nice and snug up against the arm of the frame should be able to see it there. And we'll go ahead and repeat this process for the other motors. So once again, we wanna make sure that these connector holes are facing down towards the frame. Go ahead and nicely slide it into that connector. Should be able to then push that into the connector port. And we'll go ahead and feed these motor leads beneath these little teeth on the motor mount. This helps us keep our build nice and clean these motor wires out of the way so they can't potentially get hung on anything. So I'll repeat the process for the final two motors. Okay, our motors are installed. Make sure you do one final pass to look and confirm that all the connectors are secure as well as your uh, motor cables are nice and snug. Now, 
I will mention that another tip that I recommend, you may be able to notice that this port has come up a little bit. If you use too much force, you can sort of bend that up. So I do recommend with one finger as you're plugging this in, hold down on this port just so you don't bend it or break it loose. And then you should be able to get that nice and secure without putting too much force on that port. So now we have our motors installed, wired up. The next thing we'll do is install the propellers. Let's cover our propeller installation. Now I've gone ahead and just done this printout so we can take a look at it in an enlarged format. This is the front right of the Crazy Fly quadcopter. That's M1, M2, M3, and M4. You'll notice here that both M4 and M2, they use propellers designated with a letter A on them. Those spin in a clockwise rotation and motors one and three will have a B on the propeller and those spin in a counterclockwise rotation. There's also a chance that your kit has shipped with upgraded propellers. You can see the green ones here. These might be green, uh, blue, or black. They give you uh, enhanced stability. And I want to just demonstrate the uh, positioning and rotation. For motor one, we spin in a counterclockwise rotation. For motor two, clockwise. Motor three, counterclockwise. And then finally, motor four, clockwise. If you're uncertain which way your propeller spin, if you look at the edge of the propeller, you'll notice an R uh, next to the propeller size. And the R indicates a right or clockwise rotation. So one, two, three, and four, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, and clockwise. So let's take a quick look, just as we saw in the diagram. This is motor four and motor two. If you look closely on the arm, you should be able to see the direction of rotation. So on each one of these arms, it has the direction of rotation so we know which way we expect the propeller to spin. So I'll go ahead and grab these two propellers. Hopefully you can see these two propellers. These are the eight propellers and they'll spin in a clockwise rotation. I'll go with motor number four the front left motor, you'll notice the little motor shaft, little hole. And what we'll do is just slide this on, should slide on nicely. We want to give a little bit of force to push it down. We don't want to push too hard to where the propeller makes contact with the top of the motor, but enough pressure with your finger should be sufficient. And then we'll do the rear right motor, similar format. I'll go ahead and just slide that right on. There will be a bit of friction. Go ahead and push that on nice and tight. So now we have these two installed. They go in a clockwise rotation. Now the other two propellers are both labeled with Bs. You might see a B1 or a B2. And in the case of A, that might be A1 or A2. And that doesn't matter. So just pay attention that uh, you have A or B props. I'll put this B1 on our front right motor, slide it on. Those are all tightly pressed on. See them spinning freely. And now our propellers are installed. Now, once again, the great news is you will break these crazy fly, will bump into something, these will fly off. That's why we provide plenty of extras and the installation process is very simple. Now we're going to work through the battery mounting. This is very straightforward. The battery will mount on top of the Crazy Fly frame and then will be held down by the battery holder. So the first thing that we want to do, just so the battery doesn't make contact with the components on top of the board, is we want to take this little piece of foam provided in the kit. We'll just peel it back and it'll stick right between these two black expansion headers. Just press that down, make sure that it's secure. The next thing we'll do is we'll install the header pins, which will allow us to uh, connect the battery holder. Your kit will have both short pins and long pins. And we recommend the long pins, mainly because for the best out of the box experience, we want to have the flow deck installed. Crazy Fly is more challenging to maneuver without this deck. So we'll get to that in a minute. I'll explain how all of that works, but for now, we're going to take these pins and they'll slide right through 
all the way to the top. I'll do the same for the other side. You want to make sure you push those through evenly. With the header pins installed, I'll have the battery placed there. Make sure that the connector is facing out to the rear of Crazy Fly. Then we have this battery holder that will just slide right onto these pins. I can press it down and our battery is now nice and secure on the frame. Let's do one final step before we power up. I'm going to install this flow deck. Once again, this flow deck is important. It makes flying Crazy Fly a lot easier, both with the game controller as well as autonomously with Python code. You'll notice on the bottom of Crazy Fly, this arrow and this little circle with the X inside of it, that tells us this is downward facing, should be facing down, and that this is the front. So if we look at the flow deck, You'll also notice that indicator. So we want this sensor facing towards the ground. And this is the front consistent with the front of Crazy Fly. You'll see the little notch here that sticks out. That's actually the antenna. And I'm going to go ahead and slide this deck on using the other side of those long header pins that we use to secure the battery. Our flow deck is installed. Our battery's installed nice and secure. Now the battery has not been charged, but you should have enough just to do a power up test. So now I'll take the battery and plug it into the connector attached to the frame. The assembly is complete. I'll point out that there's a little power button on the front of Crazy Fly. I'll just go ahead and push that and Crazy Fly is now powered down.